The Gnat and the Bull. A little gnat flew over a meadow. After flying around for a while, the gnat got tired. He settled on one of the horns of a bull. After some time, the gnat got ready to fly away. Before flying, he said to the bull, Pardon me for resting on your horn. You must be glad to have me go now. You think too highly of yourself, said the bull. I did not even know you were there. Oh, my apologies, said the gnat and flew off. Moral, one should not place self-importance before courtesy. Belling the Cat Once upon a time, the mice had a meeting to figure out how to deal with their common enemy, the cat. Some said this, and some said that. Many ideas were discussed, but the mice could not find a solution. At last, a young mouse spoke. I have a plan. All we need to do is put a bell around the cat's neck. The bell will ring whenever the cat moves and we will be able to run away before she comes. All the mice were surprised upon hearing the plan of the young mouse and started celebrating. Then an old mouse rose and said, The plan sounds very good. But tell me one thing. Who will bell the cat? The mice looked at one another in fear. Nobody had an answer. Moral of the story? It is easy to propose impossible remedies. The Donkey in the Lion's Skin Once, a donkey was wandering in the forest. He found a lion's skin left by a hunter. He dressed himself in it and pretended to be the lion. All the animals mistook him for the lion. They started running away in terror. The donkey was so pleased that he uttered a loud, harsh bray in excitement. A fox, who ran with the rest, stopped after hearing the voice. He approached the donkey and said, If only you didn't bray, you would have frightened me too. The donkey dropped the lion skin on the ground. He walked away with his head hanging in shame. Moral Clothes may disguise a fool, but his words will give him away. <laughs>